Hi everyone, Dom Designs here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is specifically made to teach you how to color and add shadows and highlights to any illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Before we begin, if you are new to the channel and you like Adobe Illustrator process videos and tutorials, then please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you never miss an upload. Alright, so for today's video, I will be using the donut sketch I created as an example. If you're interested in seeing how I create my outlines, check my other videos in the link above. So now that we have the outline of the donut created, let's begin by adding the base colors. Before we do so, I like to establish where my light source will be coming from. In this scenario, the light source will be coming from the top left corner of the page. Now that we have that, I'll begin by adding the base color to the donut. I will start by creating a new layer and name it color and this layer will go below the outline layer. We're then going to select everything on the outline layer and copy it over to the color layer. I do this by selecting all the closed shapes and going to the layer panel. And while holding Option or Alt on my keyboard, I drag the red square below to the color layer. Make sure you then lock the outline layer. This should leave you with the donut looking like this. All we have to do is invert the strokes to colors and adding our base color. I'll be giving the donut a pink icing and brownish color for the dough. Awesome, now let's head over to the sprinkles layer and just give these some random colors. Once we're done, remember to lock the sprinkles layers once again. Great, we're done adding the base colors, now here comes the fun part. We will be adding the shadows and highlights. As we established earlier, the light source is coming from the left side of the page. So naturally, the left side will be lighter and the right side will be darker. Let's begin by adding the shadows inside the donut hole. I will select the shape over here and do a copy and paste twice. This will create three of the same shapes superimposed on each other. I will then move over the very top shape to the side, creating a gap. 
Now we want this gap to be its own individual shape, so I'll select the top two shapes and bring up the Shape Builder tool. While holding Option or Alt on your keyboard, just delete these shapes over here while keeping the half moon shape. Then, just give that new shape a darker tone to represent the shadow. I'll do the same for the other shape over here. If you'd like to go quicker, you can do Command C and Command F twice to create the three shapes. Alright, perfect. Now let's add the shadow at the bottom over here. For this, I'll hold Option on my keyboard and drag a copy of the pink icing like so. Then, with the Shape Builder tool, I'll delete the shapes I don't need, leaving me with the pink shape over here. Now let's give this shape a dark color for the shadow. Next, let's complete the shadows on the dough part. I'll select the icing once again, and this time I will go to the menu at the top and do Offset Path. Play with the units until you get something like this. Then with the Shape Builder tool, let's select the icing we duplicated and the dough and delete the extra parts like so. Now I notice the shape isn't very smooth. We can simply use the Smooth tool and just click and drag on the stroke to smooth it out. We're almost done the shadows. To finalize, I'll be using the pen tool and just draw strokes following the shape on the right side of the icing. Make sure you select a dark pink color for this. What I'll also do is reconnect my shape back to the beginning and then just clean it up using the Shape Builder tool. Finally, let's add some highlights. We will basically follow the same steps as the shadow parts, except this time we will select a light pink color. And there you have it everyone. This is how I add colors, shadows, and highlights to all my illustrations in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers everyone.